So did you hear the story about the farmer selling watermelons? This farmer had all these watermelons for sale, tons and tons of watermelons. He had a sign up to try to deter theft. It's hard to keep track of all these watermelons. And the sign said, one of the watermelons is poisoned. Now, of course, he knew that there were no poisoned watermelons, but he put the sign up to try to deter theft and it worked. Nobody was stealing any watermelons. He thought this was fantastic. And so he went through the season selling watermelons, no problem. We got about halfway through the season. A couple of young kids come up and they start asking him about the watermelons and he decides to go in and do whatever it is he needs to do. And when he comes back out, you know what these kids did? They changed the guy's sign. <clears throat> Two watermelons poisoned. <laughs> now the farmer didn't know which one, so he kind of got him back. But it goes to show how important purity is in our lives. We don't want even the slightest bit of poison in the things that we do. I don't want my water to even have one drop of rat poison in it. Not one. And you know, there's so many of us who walk with one foot in the world and one foot with God. And he wants us to be completely pure for him. And I tell you what, we struggle with this a lot as people. We want to we want to have it both ways, but God doesn't want you to have it both ways. God wants you to maintain personal purity in your life. And in this section of 1 John, which is where we're at in our five-minute messages, we're looking at chapter 3 today. We're going to look at verses 4 through 9. We're going to be thinking about having fellowship with God. We've talked about having confidence. We've talked about having hope. <clears throat> now we're going to talk about having fellowship with him goes something like this, chapter 3, verses 4 through 9. Whoever commits sin commits lawlessness, and sin is lawlessness. And you know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him there is no sin. Whoever abides in him does not sin. Whoever sins has neither seen him nor known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. He who practices righteousness is righteous, just as he is righteous. He who sins is of the devil, for the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whoever has been born of God does not sin. For his seed remains in him, and he cannot sin because he has been born of God. What kind of fellowship do you have with Jesus, with God, with the Father? Some of us want to claim that we have fellowship with him, but our lives don't show that. We don't demonstrate that we have righteousness. We continue in this sin. We continue to habitually, perpetually, continually evolve, involve ourselves in the same kinds of sins. Whoever commits sin commits lawlessness. Do you not know that God has Laws in place, rules in place, guidelines, boundaries, barriers in place so that you will live in the way that he wants you to live. It's not up to you to decide that you're just going to be able to go do this and go do that and go here and go there and go everywhere and do whatever it is you want to do. Sin is lawlessness. God has a very defined system by which we're supposed to operate and you know that he was manifested to take away our sins. He was, he's supposed to have done this in your life. Has he taken away your sins or do you still fall into those same traps? In him there is no sin. Whoever abides in him does not sin. Now this does not mean that we're going to be sinfully perfect. We still are, I mean, this mortal body of mine, as awesome as it looks, still sins. So it's not that we're going to be perfectly sinless, but boy, it should be going down. I shouldn't be falling into the same traps. Whoever sins, neither has seen him nor known him. If you want to tell me that you know him, stop sinning. That's the whole point of this Christian stuff is to stop sinning, to be like Jesus, to be following him and these sorts of things. And don't let anyone deceive you. He who practices righteousness is righteous. It's not that doing these right things makes you righteous, but it just demonstrates that you have it. Whoever has been born of God does not sin. We need to have that kind of fellowship with him where we're not sinning. And we need to have this kind of purity. Have a great day.